Alright, welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. Welcome back, Framework Fortune Community. I'm your host, Ben, and we're going to be diving into the new balance updates for Gods Unchained, the play to earn TCG on the Layer 2 IMX, Immutable X platform, which is built on Ethereum Layer 1. And there are some new updates to the cards which is probably going to change the meta that go in effect tomorrow. And I'll be back Thursday with some more live Gods Unchained gameplay as I try to get ready for the weekend event as these changes are going to be taking effect. Now, if you did not see the armor updates, be sure to go back and watch that video as those are going to be taking place as well. So... Here are the card changes. Let's jump into it. Sage of Renewal. And all this is, you can read this. This link will be in the description. These changes are hitting PTR today for 24 hours for final testing, followed by a release to the beta at some point tomorrow if everything goes well. So more than likely it will be out tomorrow. But Sage of Renewal. And this is what the Sage of Renewal looks like currently. Regen 2 after a friendly creature enters the board. Give it Regen 2 after enemy creature enters the board. Uh, whatever the rest of that is. Give each friendly creature spell boost 2. Oh, wrong one. After an enemy creature enters the board, give it Confusion. It's now going to be Regen 2, Roar, Refresh 4 mana, and Delve 4 mana worth of nature spells. So, basically... You could get one mana nature spell and three mana nature spell, or you could get four one mana spells or two two mana spells. Who knows? <laughs> this is going to be crazy. You're delving it, so you kind of get to choose, it seems like. Uh, the refresh for mana is insane. So a lot different. Definitely made this card better, and the stats are going up to a 6-6. Six, six. So Sage Renewal is going to be a pretty strong card and it's a rare in divine order so it's still open until the set is locked uh, this could change again these new changes coming into it that's going to essentially make this better right now it's very cheap on the market you can see 0 0.003 eth and let's actually pull up the marketplace that way we can see it in us dollar so right now, yeah, 78 cents. And there's 35,000 of them out there. So that's a decent size supply, nothing too low. And 614 for sale. So, uh, you know, we'll see how much these changes affect the price of this card. I don't think it's going to skyrocket or anything, but maybe it gets more play. And I think it would get more play with those type of changes to it. Next, we got the scholar of power he had his stats increased and text changed changed stats from 5-5 five, five to 6-6 six, six. so let's pull up the scholar of power currently has spell boost plus two after you summon a creature give it spell boost plus two and then roar give each friendly creature spell boost plus two super cheap card right now and the text is now going to read spell boost plus two roar reduce the cost of a spell in your hand by x where X is your current spell boost. So I think that's a pretty nice change. That's a buff to the Scholar of Power, especially with the 6-6 six, six as well. And we may see more play in Magic decks with it. I have tried to run him, and this effect wasn't too bad, but that 5-5 five, five is kind of weak for a 7 mana. This effect definitely is better. So... Again, this is a, a rare and divine order. I don't think there's a, sh a shortage on the supply of these. Nah, see there are 23 cents. There's 486 of them. But, you know, 23 cents is pretty cheap. And it does look like, uh, yeah, it little, had a little pop f from yesterday from when they announced this. So we'll see how much play it gets and if... It continues to go up in price. But definitely a better card there. Now the Professor of Mana, the mana cost is increased, the stats are increased, and the text is changed. 
So let's pull up the Professor of Murder. I think I might have said Professor of Mana, but I didn't mean to. I meant Professor of Murder. <laughs> Talking about all that mana for that magic card. So here's the current version. Six mana hidden after one of your creatures attacks. Give it hidden for one turn. Then Roar, give flank to your other creatures. I have never used this creature um, because the five, three, it's six mana and only has three health. <laughs> and you can see how cheap it is. It doesn't even register on the Ethereum scale. So let's see if it's going to be playable now. So it's going to be seven mana now. But it's going to be changed to a 6-6, six, six, so that's a little bit better. Actually, that's quite a bit better, especially on the health side. It's double the health. And it's going to be changed to hidden. When you summon a creature, give it hidden for one turn. Roar, summon two 1-1 one, one rogue skulkers with deadly and give them hidden. So that's a big difference. Going from give flank to your other creatures to summoning two creatures with deadly. That makes the Professor of Murder actually really good. This is going to see a lot of play in Deception decks. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, two, two. So you're getting a six-six creature that's hidden, along with when you summon a creature, give it hidden for one turn, and then you get two more creatures that are deadly. That's a whole lot of value in one card. So really crazy change there. Uh, Stormfield, here's the original. This is another magic card. So now it's deal two damage to each creature without order. Give spell boost plus one to each of your creatures. And it is changing to mana, let's see, mana cost reduced. So it's going from a five mana to a two mana. And it is going to change, give spell, let's see, change text from deal two damage without... So I think this may be a little bit of a typo. I think what they're trying to say is they're removing, or maybe I'm just misunderstanding it the way it reads, but it looks like they're removing the deal to damage part of the text and just making a two mana spell that gives spell boost to each of your creatures. So it's just be two mana and then this whole part right here will be taken off is what I think they're trying to say there. So that just changes that card, which a two mana that gives spell boost to all your creatures is pretty crazy if that is the case. Because, uh, yeah, that, I mean, you've got five creatures on the board, that's five spell boost that can make a worm breath do nine damage. So that may see a lot of play, even without the damage part of it. So next we got Mentor of Salvation. And this is a light card, currently seven mana. At the end of your turn, pull a random creature from your void into your hand, then give frontline to all your creatures. Five, five. Uh, I don't play light that much, so you know, it seems like a pretty steep cost. So they are changing it to a six, six instead. And the text is going to now read Ward which is strong, getting ward on anything is nice, and then roar, give your other creatures afterlife, pull this card to your hand. So that's actually going to probably make that card way better, and you're going to be able to get some of those key light deck cards back, avoiding them being destroyed or obliterated with that secondary effect. So... Oh boy, the Thebian Elephant. H.A. Nature Trader is going to be super happy. Thebian Elephant currently, which is a pretty good card, but it doesn't see a lot of play because I don't think people realize the value. And again, 7 mana for a 5 health creature is a lot of cost. Uh, but this did this does, does have currently a really crazy effect already. It's backline, and at the end of your turn, you have 1 plus 1. Give plus one plus one to each of your creatures and it's tagged Olympian. So let's see what they're changing it to. So it's going to a six eight. That's a big change there. Going up three health. And it'll no longer have backline, but it's gonna have overkill after this creature attacks an enemy creature, gain two strength. So it's actually losing its whole effect there of buffing other creatures. 
and only buffing itself, but that thing could get out of hand. <laughs> I'm actually excited for this change. Because with the overkill, you can wipe a board. So Thebian Elephant is now a possible board wipe. And then if you wipe the board, or just with that one attack, you're going to go from a 6-8 to an 8-8. And you could continue every turn to attack. And maybe in decks that run a lot of healing like Light, you could keep healing this creature or nature. This is going to see... The Theban Elephant's going to see some play now. That's for sure. That's totally changed. Okay, so the Unproven Incantation. Incantation, I should say. I actually didn't mind this card as it was. So let's see what they're changing it to. It is going to be Blessed. That already had that. Deal 4 damage to a creature. If it survives, deal 3 damage to the enemy god. That's interesting. So this is almost, oof, it's almost like beam. It's like a blessed beam. Yeah, I like that change. I think that would make that car better. It's a common, so it's not going to really change price. Um, the Thebian Elephant, I think, is a rare, so that one might have a little change in price. But they didn't really change that card much other than the two, three damage to an enemy god, which that's huge. You know, any direct damage you can do to a god, especially in a magic deck, it's just another spell now that can be buffed by the Scholar of Power with its changes and the Stormfield. Now, that was just card changes. So those were big changes. Now we're getting into the card buffs. So... These are going to be a little more shorthanded. We can run through those quick. So this was already a pretty good card. Not sure why it was why it's getting a buff. Uh, it was, Roar was give minus two health to each enemy creature and plus two strength to each of your other creatures. In zombie decks, this can just wipe your opponent's board and make your zombies just insane. And it does cost 7 mana, 5-5, five, five, so it does kind of have that weak health again, that same trend. But they're not... Oh, and that's what they're pushing up. So now it's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. So that definitely actually... Yeah, that makes it better. It was already good, makes it better, no doubt. Lips are sealed. This is a light card. I didn't see this hardly played at all originally. So they're going to change it to give order 4 to each creature with strength 3 or more. So it's just losing one of the order it's giving in exchange for being able to take out 3 strength creatures or higher instead of 4. That makes it, that makes it more playable. I would say so, because you're getting a wider range of creatures and there's a lot of really strong 3 strength creatures that may normally be at, would probably be out of reach. Now they're not going to be out of reach. So the Skeletal Hoplite, that's just a little one mana card. A little guy with the armor and he's just getting a little buff. And there he is right there. He's getting one health, which makes him playable. I didn't see a lot of these played either. But with two health for one mana and he's got one armor, that makes him essentially a three health creature the Tartesian minotaur which was a good card they're actually bringing down right here he is he's a five mana now he's going down to a four mana good war card if you run olympians probably not much of a price change will come there dead century which is a front line i like because it is a blessed front line and they're going to make it where it has 4-4, four, four. it's going to have one more attack. Change strength from 3 to 4. So that's pretty nice. Echo and Fury, this is another war card. Currently it's blessed, give twin strike to one of your creatures. It is now being changed to blessed, give one plus strength and twin strike to one of your creatures. So what did they change? Oh, it's given the one plus strength. So that's actually really good. So for one mana, you're getting blessed. Your creature's getting one strength and twin strike. That is definitely a buff. The city planner, which 
is <laughs> I don't think I've I may have seen like one person out of all, all the games I've played play this card. It is eight mana, uh, eight eight, and then roar summon two zero six ramparts. <laughs> There's a lot of better things to play that are eight mana, so I think that's why it doesn't see much. But they're going to reduce it to a seven mana and reduce the stats to a seven seven and also give it guild. So some of those deception decks, you may see some deception decks play it, but that also means the hollow, if it's still drawing guild creatures, would draw the city planner, which would be real interesting in those deception decks. So the helm hustler, this is a little deception card that steals armor. Currently three mana, backline, ability this creature takes one armor from an enemy creature, then deals this creature's or this creature's armor as damage to it. It is a guild creature. It's going to be changed into backline, roar, and ability. Steal an enemy creature's armor and add it to this creature, and then deal this creature's armor as damage to that enemy. So... On the roar, you're now going to be able to steal armor with the Helm Hustler. And then the amount of damage you're doing is your own creature's armor. So if you stacked up a lot of armor because you're playing an armor deck with the Helm Hustler, you could be knocking you know, big creatures off the board with that. I definitely think this makes this extremely playable now. Because that, just the roar effect. Cecilia is a legendary getting a buff. And I actually liked this card as it was. I played it a couple times in Deception. Thought it was pretty good. But it's getting changed to order three. When this creature's order reaches zero, transform it into five, five shimmer scales and give it five plus burn. So they did like this wording change here. Let's see, whoa. What is, the, what is the significance of that? When this creature loses order, when this creature's order reaches zero. Hmm. I'm not sure how that's a buff, really. You guys let me know down in the comments if you think this is a buff or not. I'm not really getting how much more significant this is than what it was. And let's see, the shimmer scale that it turns into, this is the shimmer scale... Right now is a five with five five and backline and flank, and that's getting changed to backline and hidden. Well, oh, that's really good for deception decks. It's getting hidden, but that order reaching zero versus this creature loses order. I'm not really getting that significance. So just let me know. And then the ring of siren getting its durability increased. From a 3 to a 4, it's a Deception Relic. There's some combos with this card, but nothing that is that amazing to me yet. So I don't, I don't think that's anything really to thread about or anything. We do have card nerfs now. Brazen Moose, a very big bully in nature decks right now, is losing its strength. Going from 6 strength to a 5 strength. <laughs> It's still a strong card, so it's still going to see play. It's not really much of a nerf. The All See Inspire, the order is reduced. So I guess that is a nerf to it, but it doesn't really change the card that much to me. Instead of order 10, it just has order 5. So, meh. Uh, the Orcish Elite which is a card that I run a lot in most of my war decks, and a lot of people run in their war decks, is only getting 5 health now, which I think that is going to affect that card and make it a little less, little less strong than it is now. It's a, it seems like a small nerf, but when you play this card, there's a lot of times you can kill a creature that's pretty big, because you got that one extra health, or you can wipe out two creatures, which you still could with this, but eh, I don't know if it needed to lose any health, to be honest. We'll, we'll see. You know, They can always change it back. So the hollow, we were just talking about the hollow earlier, and how that could play in with some of these other nerfs. Currently, 
the card reads backline ward after a friendly creature loses order add a random grilled creature guild creature not a grilled creature um, a random killed creature to your hand ability pick one give creature two three or four order which I, I didn't really understand too much why you would want those options to give your own creature that much order when I play this card normally just two order is all that you need so you can keep drawing those guild creatures so it's now going to read backline ward so same there after a friendly creatures order reaches zero same thing again there I don't know what exactly what they're trying to say with that add a random guild creature to your hand and then give a friendly creature to order so it really isn't changing much other than whatever this wording change is if that actually means something then radiant dawn which is a big hitter in light decks boosts a lot of those light creatures quite a bit they all your creatures gain plus one plus two and lose sleep it is getting nerfed down to your creatures gain plus one plus one and lose sleep so you're not getting a plus one plus two you're getting uh just a, a little less of a health buff still playable but not quite as good. Monolith of Storms, another magic card that I play a lot, and I enjoy the dynamics of this card. It's very unique. But this bad boy is getting changed from order 10. After you play a spell, give plus two strength to this creature. Ability deal damage to an enemy creature equal to this creature's strength. Then set this creature's strength to zero. It's now going to be order five. After you play a spell, give 2 plus strength to this creature. So that's the same there. And then deal damage to an enemy creature equal to this creature's strength. And then set this creature's strength to zero. So the, really the only change that's happening is the order. And uh, the strength is getting reduced to a 4. Yeah, so it's going to be a 4 or 5. But, you know, you're boosting this thing with a lot of spells anyway. I don't think that's going to affect that too much may affect the price of the monolith of storms because monolith of storms has been a pretty popular card there's only 126 of them for sale uh yeah we see we had a dip there when that news come out but it's come back up some so obviously some people have test maybe in the ptr or something or people maybe not thinking it's going to be that big of a deal on that change but the monolith of the storm is currently 20 dollars all time it was up at close to 30 so we'll see there is only 6,000 in supply we'll just see how much it's affected by that little change falling star is a card that annoys me so much when nature decks play it because it is super strong it's five mana give your opponent's strongest creature burn plus six summon three one two badgers with confused and then all your creatures gain plus one strength. So for five mana, you're getting three creatures, taking out one of your opponent's creatures, and then buffing all your creatures. Just a whole lot of nonsense in that one card. And it's getting nerfed down to give your opponent's strongest creature burn plus six, summon three, one, two badges with confused, and give them one plus strength. So nothing else is really changing other than you're not be, you're not buffing all your creatures. You're only going to be buffing those badgers. That's probably still going to see quite a bit of play in nature decks, but that was definitely overpowered. Everything on the board getting one string. There's plenty of times I got rolled by this. I think that's a fair change. So that's all the nerfs, and here's the card text changes. Now this isn't going to change any of the card's utilities or any of the attacks or health or none of that. These are not nerfs or buffs. These are just um, text changes. And on the Shackled Acolyte here, we can see that same thing I was talking about that I did not think was significant is actually not significant. It's just a change in text to make it clear so when this creature loses order is just going to be when this creature's order reaches zero and that's that's what they um are trying to focus on here with these text changes only their wording edited to be clearer to new players and to align with their card text style guide 
So just getting everything cleaned up before they finally lock this set. That's pretty much it though for the, all the nerfs and buffs that is out coming out tomorrow. We'll see how this changes the meta for this week in ranked. Everybody's got, you know, two or three more days left. If they haven't seen this yet, it came out yesterday. If a bunch of your cards got nerfed or buffed, you, you're probably going to have to do a little bit of deck editing. So that's what I'll be doing on Thursday live back here on the channel. Probably around 1.30, 2 p.m. Central Standard if you haven't yet, go check out FrameworkFortune.com. It's free signups with email, and you can find access to the Discord channel where we have everything from stock trading all the way to PDE gaming like Gods Unchained. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.